Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today comparing the audio quality you're going to get by getting a USB lavalier microphone recording directly into the computer. So USB lav mic versus the audio quality from an XLR lavalier microphone that's being connected into the computer through an audio interface. And I'm doing all this on Ubuntu Linux and recording into OBS. So the first microphone that we're going to be listening to, actually that you are listening to, is that uh, USB microphone. So it's as easy as it can get, it's plug and play. You just uh, hook up your lav mic, that's the one I'm wearing right now. You put that into a USB port on your computer. The microphone that you're listening to is the Maono AUUL10 lavalier microphone. It's currently retailing on AliExpress for give or take 28 bucks. Some places you'll find it for uh, $20, you might find different prices on um, if you're looking on Amazon. Now, uh, just to do this transparent, I'm gonna read the same audio I'm reading from the start of A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, amazing book. Um, I wanna show you guys firstly uh, the settings that I have. So uh, the first thing I always do when I'm uh, working with microphones in Ubuntu is I open up my pad view control and I check what the system level I'm using for the microphone is. Now it can be deceptive because you see microphones you're not actually using as is the case here. So I'm not using uh, this microphone. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and mute it. That's the uh, built-in microphone on the webcam. The microphone you're listening to is this one here, the Maono Elf Analog Stereo. Now the levels I'm getting from OBS Studio, I'm gonna actually drag over uh, my OBS meter here and you can see kind of where I am. So if I nudge Pabu Control, I start clipping in OBS. I'm gonna bring this guy down just a little bit here to the uh, kind of volume I'm speaking at and you can see the level. So I'm doing a minus 6 dB uh, gain in my OBS level and my uh, level on the system is set to 89% and that's an offset of minus three uh, decibels. And that is this is the exact audio that you're listening to now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, connect up the um, audio interface from Behringer and that is the Behringer Euphoria UM2. I'm going to be connecting into that the Comica CVM V020. So that's a XLR microphone that requires 48 volts of phantom power, which the uh, that audio interface is going to supply. I'm using the built-in uh, codec that uh, that you know is is supported for this operating system. And given that it's a $30 uh, lavalier microphone and that Maono lavalier microphone's also about 30, they're both omnidirectional. I think it should be a fairly decent comparison in terms of a head-to-head -head for audio quality. Uh, so before I do that, let me do the actual uh, reading here, putting away all these things now that the levels are set. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredul incredulity. Uh, it was a season of light. It was a season of darkness. It was the spring of hope. It was the winter of despair. We had everything before us. We had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received for good or for evil in the superlative degree of comparison only. Okay, that was microphone one. I'm gonna go ahead now and connect microphone two and you guys can be the judge of uh, what ended up sounding better audio quality wise. Okay, so I've gone ahead now and I have uh, connected the audio interface and you're now listening to a different uh, lavalier microphone. This is an XLR lav microphone that I've connected. Um, it's the Comica CVM V020. I've gone for kind of a similar uh, lav position. It's actually on the other side of my polo shirt but it's roughly the same uh, distance from, from my mouth and it's uh, also an omnidirectional pickup uh, pattern. So let us go now back to um, screen two and I'm gonna show you guys firstly what we're uh, working with in terms of meters. So now we can see um, I'm pulling audio from the, uh, this is the audio interface, of course, that's the audio source rather than the, uh, the actual uh, microphone itself and it, it's detected on Ubuntu Linux as PCM2902 audio codec. Um, I have the level, as you can see, set to 100% and I'll now bring over my OBS um, audio meter. So you can see the levels we're getting, I think they're kind of similar to what we had. Uh, we're kind of peaking there at minus 10 uh, dB thereabout um, and uh, minus 9.8 dB is the offset in OBS. 
and that there's no offset on the actual master gain setting and uh, so the other microphone needed a bit of a touch down uh, to keep it from clipping so okay everything is I'm gonna leave those as they are so that we should be roughly comparing like with like and I'm gonna do the same thing as I did before uh, reading from uh, the first chapter of uh, Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. I'm pronouncing that wrong. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness, it was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. We were all going direct to heaven, we were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received for good and for evil in the superlative degree of comparison only. Okay, so I hope that uh, that uh, comparison was uh, useful and maybe uh, gave anyone listening a sense for what kind of a difference in audio quality. If there's any discernible, uh, you can uh, detect between a microphone connected via USB directly with the preamp and everything built into just that one component and alternatively uh, then connecting via a USB audio interface and using uh, a XLR microphone uh, requiring 48 volts of phantom power. Hope that video was of interest to somebody out there in uh, YouTube cyberspace. If you want to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.